Hey YouTube, Kevin from MechanicalAdvantage.com. Today I wanted to talk about how to create tangent dimensions in sketches inside of Fusion 360. It's not that difficult of a process, but it's a little bit hidden. And so let's take a look at a couple different examples that I've created to show how to create tangent dimensions. So here I have a fairly simple sketch, and what I'd like to do with this sketch is dimension from this vertical line to the tangent part of this outside arc here to, for the total overall length. If I go uh, go to the sketch menu and choose to do a dimension, and I click on the first line and I click on the arc, what it gives me by default is a edge to center dimension, and that's not what I want. I want to go edge to tangent. So in order to create a tangent dimension in the sketch in Fusion, all we need to do is go ahead and go sketch, dimension, click on the first line. Now before I select the second line, I'm going to right click and choose pick circle arc tangent. I'll go ahead and pick on that. And now you can see we're dimensioning to the outside edge. If I move my mouse slightly towards uh, the inside, it gives me the opposite tangent of that circle, which is most likely not what we want. So I'm just going to go ahead and place my mouse right there, uh, drop that on there to say that I want this dimension to be six inches. And now I've created a tangent dimension on this particular shape. Let's take a look at a different shape. So here I have a, a double arc slot. So there's slot, uh, an arc on each end of this. And we're going to use mostly the same method. If I go ahead and choose to do the uh, sketch dimension command again and select the arc first, then right click and select pick circle arc tangent, what we're going to see is it's going to pick the center of the circle on the left side and the tangent of the circle on the right. So all we have to do to fix that is sketch dimension or D on the keyboard. Before I even start anything, I'm gonna right click and choose pick circle or tangent. Click on the first arc. I don't have to do it a second time. If I right click, you can see I'm already in that mode. So when I click on the second line, now I go ahead and place my dimension, enter the six inches that I want, and I go ahead and I have my uh, fully dimensioned sketch dimension to the outer tangents of the circle. So here's another case that we might run into. Uh, it's going to work much the same way. Uh, I'm going to hit D in my keyboard. I'm going to right click and select pick circle arc tangent. I'm going to pick the second circle arc tangent. You can see I can get an aligned dimension. Now one of the things I think is a little bit frustrating is we are limited in what we can do. I wish this worked slightly more like the regular dimension command does. If I hit D on my keyboard and I'm going to use this line in the center for an example. If I click on this line you can see when I move my mouse here, I get an aligned dimension. As I move it more vertically, I get a horizontal dimension. If I move it to the left or the right, I can get the vertical dimension. So I can get three different dimension types depending on where I place my cursor. So if I wanted a dimension from this outside tangent to the outside tangent horizontally or vertically, I can't do that right now. So if I hit D, right click on the keyboard, pick circle arc tangent, pick the second one, Notice that no matter where I move my mouse, all it gives me is the aligned dimension. So one of the caveats to look out for. Uh, so hopefully that will help you dimension your sketches when you're dealing with things like uh, slots, arcs, uh, things that you want to dimension the tangents for. Uh, go ahead and leave me a comment below if you have any questions. And as always, if you'd subscribe to the channel, I'd appreciate it. Thanks for watching.